Well, hello, darlings. Happy Wednesday to every single one of you out there. And welcome to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the final part of the roomies. We are going to be getting this build complete today. We have three bedrooms to do for three sexy, sexy, sexy lads. That is what we're going to be doing. Um, I might delve into some more stories about them. Bring a bit more lore into the mix. I might do that for you. Um, so, yes, I think that's that's it. That, it. that is the intro today. So, without further ado, let's get over and start building. Okay, you beautiful lot. Here we are. We're back at the roomies household. Yes, we are indeed. Um, I added a little washer and dryer moment into the kitchen and... Uh, shortened down the breakfast bar area just so we can get that area in and I think it suits it being in the kitchen so that is what we have done today yes we have indeed um a few of you said to get some, or one of you said why don't you get some like empty pizza boxes out and put in the room I think I might do that as well that's going to be happening but today obviously what we're going to be concentrating on are the three bedrooms now I think Akito is going to move into this bedroom here this is going to be Red's bedroom in the middle and then Jean-Paul is going at the end one here um, just so we can be as near as his, to his garden as he possibly could. Why did you not plant that bell pepper? Oh, for goodness sake. Very, very silly indeed. So, yeah, we're going to do that. But first off, I want to find those pizza boxes. So give me one sec and let me go and have a hunt. There we go. Pizza box has been found. So I've popped it there. And I've also snuck out a cheeky little traffic cone as well. Because I've been laughing at some of your guys' stories from when you used to steal traffic cones and stuff as well. Um, I had somebody go... That is not funny. That is a f that is actually a crime. <laughs> Have a day off, love. Have a fucking day off, for goodness sake. For goodness sake, it was many years ago. Um, you just need to have a day off. You really do. That's all I need to say on that. Goodbye. <laughs> just can't be, dealing, can't be dealing with people like that. Have a bit of fun in your life, sweetheart. You know? You know. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, now... I'm going to start with Akito's bedroom because we're going to go for a very clean vibe. You can see I've used the same wallpaper, but I've made it look less grubby. Akito is going to be the very clean one of the household. He doesn't really mind the house being messy. He just, ugh, he's give up trying to get, trying to get the boys to clean up after themselves and stuff. And they do so much for him anyway. It's just like, do you know what? If I can just have my bedroom being nice and clean, that is what we're going to do. So I do want to pay respects to Akito's culture because obviously he is Japanese. Um, I'm not going to do a futon bed. I'm just going to do a normal kind of Western style bed, I think. But I do want to put in quite a lot of objects from Snowy Escape. So we will make that apparent as well. Yes, we will indeed. So he hasn't really got much money, to be honest with you. Um, so I think I'm, I don't want to give him one of the... I want to save that for red, one of these beds, like the bit tatty sort of warm bed. Um, so I'll put that one in there for the minute. But maybe I could use the other one. That's not too expensive. Oh, in fact, I could do the futon. Couldn't we? We could use the double futon. Because that does look clean. It does look lovely. Um, I do like this colorway as well. But I'm just going to have a little pop through. And just to see if anything else pops out. Um, that might fill me with joy. But I think the first... Yeah, I like that one the most in here, to be honest. I'm going to do it. Now, they're all going to be sem similarly laid out. I think I might change um, Jean-Paul's around. I might put the bed on this side instead because it's got two windows here. So I could easily do a little dresser moment over there. Um, but we'll get to that when it comes to it. So, Akito, here we go. We're going to pop your bed there, darling. So he is a really cl like clean sim. Um, he's creative as well. So I think I'm going to give him a desk of his own in here where he can get away from everybody and he doesn't have to work on this PC here. He's going to have a laptop, I think. So I think I'll do that. Yes, I will. And um, bedside tables. I might maybe a bedside table that um, Red made for him. Like rather nicely. But do you know what, Akita? Here you go, darling. I've made I've made you a bedside table. Now, Oh, that one wasn't too bad. Yes, I think I might use this one. I'll do one bedside table. We don't really need two in here because there's only one sim. So it doesn't matter too much. I think on that side, what I'll do is put the actual desk itself. Um, maybe. I'll get the wardrobes in first before I put the desk down. But, yeah, it's a nice little, nice little bedside table there. I do want to get a rug in here as well. Did 
Snowy escape actually... Oh, got rid of the debug. Oh, in fact, that's quite good, actually. Um, did snowy escape come with any rugs? I think it did, just that sheepskin rug. That's not the vibe I want in here, to be honest with you, darling. Um, I think we need to go for... Ooh, mm, that's too predictable. I don't want to be too stereotypical with, like, cherry blossoms and whatnot. Even though it's an important part of the Japanese culture. Um, I think we'll just go for a plain-looking rug in here, maybe. Um, I could even put in some, like, tatami mats. Um... Because, again, that is a massive part of Japanese culture. Where are you, darling? Is it in flooring, tatami? Let me let me search for tatami. There we go. Tatami mat. Oh, it's, it is in floor patterns. Okay. Well, maybe I could just place a few of them around by the bed. I don't have to go for a full tatami mat in here. Just a little nod to the culture, you know? I think I'll plonk them around the bed. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what? I kind of like that. What? Let me just see if there's... I don't know. That tone is quite nice, actually. But I was just thinking maybe just slightly warmer. Yeah, let's slight, let's warm it up slightly. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that indeed, my loves. We're going to do that to there. I did place them wrong then. I do know. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. I do. Okay. And I'm going to go and pull out loads of objects I think would look great in this room from Snowy Escape. Okay, so we've pulled a few objects out. We're going to start placing them now, darlings. Yes, we are indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> so his wardrobe's going to go there. Some more street signs that he did steal from Japan before he came here. Very, very naughty, Akito. Very naughty. That was a crime, Akito. Okay. Just so you know, that was a crime. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right, a little um, bookcase of dreams here. Maybe with some nice books and stuff on that. I'm going to maybe pull out of Debug. Um, I'll pull out of the actual uh, catalogue itself and pop them on there too. Oh my god, my game just froze. Stop it. I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving. There we go. Stunning. Okay. Um, a nice little shrine picture here. Um which I'm going to put up to around about here, I think. Oh, gorgeous. Unless I make it look like it's kind of resting on here, which would look really cute, because then that would give me more space to be able to put a desk in here as well now. So a single desk would look perfect. I pulled out a bonsai tree as well. Maybe I can fit that on the desk. I don't think I can. Is there a snap point up there? It is, but this would need... Oh, and an aquarium. I bought... I'm going to give them a fish, and we're going to call it Sarah Jessica Parker. Yes, we are indeed. But I was thinking, that does look great there. But it's just not... I don't know. You might be able to get a bit of sunlight there. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. See how it's going to go. And if it doesn't go right, we can easily change it, can't we, darlings? Yes. Yes, we can. How are you all doing? I hope you're all all right. World's well, still a bit shit. Great news yesterday, though. A lovely bit of news. Um, One of my most hated people. And I don't hate a lot of people on this planet. I really don't. Um, Apart from homophobic racists uh sexists chauvinist assholes um and that all fits in line with this person um mr piers morgan sorry i'm sick a bit in my mouth then because i cannot stand that man i hate him absolutely hate him and um he no longer works where he he, he he presented this shitty morning show that was on in the UK. It's fucking crap. The elite one is with Holly and Phil and I don't even watch it. Um, but um, yeah, he doesn't work there anymore. Which is very, very nice because he has spent the majority of his time bullying Meghan Markle, who, by the way, is an absolute... Oh God, I'm dropping every... <gasps> queen! May I just say that? She is an absolute beautiful queen. Um... What loved the interview with her, by the way. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Um, sad. Eye-opening. Amazing. Um, and yes, I'm just just glad. That was a that was a lovely bit. It was like an early Christmas present that yesterday. Um and yeah, I'm very much for it. Very much for it. Anyway, let's not taint this channel with the likes of him. I can't say his name. <laughs> can't say his name again. <laughs> So we're going to move on from that. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. But what a lovely day. What a lovely, what a lovely thing to, to see yesterday. I really enjoyed that. Really did enjoy it. Okay. Oh, maybe some of these like 
like sort of like advertising posters would be cool. <gasps> Maybe some of his favorite anime. Let's do that. Or even some of his favorite films. Let's see what we can find. Oh, that looks like an anime, doesn't it? Oh, that does as well. Yes. We'll pop you there, darling. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we'll pop a couple of those on the side there. This is telling the story. And we needed like a comfy chair for him to sit in. Um, That's not, that doesn't, it does look comfy, but it's not the vibe I want to go for in here. I want to go for something a little bit more cushiony. <gasps> Maybe we could do another chair, another red special. Oh, but they're not going to be able to get through there. I'll pop it here instead then. I can put a mirror on that side east instead. So yeah, this is one of red specialities. He makes gorgeous wingback chairs from Hassian Sack. Um, I know a few of us would like to be playing around with Red Sack, but that is a different story, darling. <laughs> How far are we in? Nearly 20 minutes and already filth. I mean, I don't expect anything less, less from us, to be honest. Uh, who am I kidding? <laughs> I do want to use this bonsai over here, I think. We'll put something else on there, but what I'm going to do is whiffle this into the corner like this. Maybe this could get a bit of sunlight in here. Maybe this is just a fake bonsai tree just to make the storyline a little bit better. But I don't think so. I think he would like a real tree in his house. We'll put a little fish in there. I don't know what fish. Maybe a maybe a guppy or something. Maybe a guppy. Yeah, we'll pop you there. And then I'm going to do what I said and put pop some more books up here. Maybe you with a little plant on. Is that? Oh, that's a snap point up there as well. Sims, are you feeling all right, darling? Two snap points on one shelf. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, you do know how to treat us, don't you? Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I am just going to pop a nice plant on here as well, though. Oh, that does look nice in here. Yes, I like it. Now, there was a snap point up here. Maybe I could put, give him a stereo or something. Just a cheap little stereo where he can listen to his music. Um, Awkward snap point, though, so I will turn it slightly. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Was there another snap point there? There was. Maybe like a... Um, let me just type in box and see what we we see what we get, darling. See what we get here, and maybe I can pop up a couple of boxes up here, or maybe just something like this. Yeah, mm, files. No, I just want a box actually, like that. Yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. another snap point. Bloody hell. oh, I've moved these. I was going to put a mirror on this side, wasn't I? So I'll flop them a bit closer together like that, and we'll just give them a nice little mirror as well. Um, bedroom. We'll go into the mirrors here. And I'll flop on a nice little mirror just onto the wall there, darling. Can we get like a semi-matching tone? That will do. Oh, yes. Very clean. Just very put together. I'm for that. I really am. Maybe a bit of incense in here as well. I would imagine him liking a little bit of incense. Uh, can we pop that there without anything setting on fire? Oh, I po I'll pop you there instead. We'll pop you there. Let's go for the lotus looking flower as well. In a nice blue. Yeah, that's cute. I do like that. Yeah, I think that's his room. That kind of just brings his personality over a little bit. You know, very clean, very put together. Um, I've put one laundry basket out by the washing machine as well, just so they don't have to keep nabbing into, like, not that anyone but Akira washes their clothes anyway, to be honest. <laughs> No, I'm joking. I know I'm making them feel all grubby and stuff, but they're not they're not disgraceful. Let's say they've probably got personal hygiene, and that's that's a good start, isn't it, really? Yeah, there's Akira's bedroom. I like that. Okay, we're moving on to reds. I've pulled out a few bits. I've cluttered this place up here with just loads of crap that is just documents, maybe like job listings and clients that he's got for his woodworking um and i thought these little scrolls here were maybe the last letters his dad ever sent to him maybe his dad was like a fisherman and then that thought process was he actually carved a <laughs> why am i laughing because this is sad <laughs> but this is his dad this <laughs> this is red's dad he was lost at sea when he was very young um so Red's did a little carving of his dad there. I thought that would be a lovely thing to do. Um, and I also wanted this wood carving out because it's cute as hell. And I want it in I want it in Red's room. I really do. Really, really do. And then these here, these were very one of Red's very successful wood carving things. He used to make little wood kind of like animals for kids and stuff where they could glue them together. 
with their parents. So I thought that would be nice. I'm going to put you there along with this as well. Just things that he needs to remember. Um, pictures of his family and whatnot. And um, and this here as well. I thought Red maybe suffers from night terrors. So he made himself a little dream catcher to stop those night terrors from happening. Um, maybe to do with his dad. Maybe that's why he's having them. Oh, the story. The storyline is getting deep, darlings. And I'm absolutely for it. I really am. Um, I think I want to do like a little... Hey, oh, God. Watch me try and find a swatch here. Oh, do you know what? That wasn't too hard. <laughs> but you know my thoughts on the... Um, the nifty, nifty knitting pack. And I've also gave him a little one of these as well. A little weaving thing. And now it is floating. But I will move that down slightly with um, the tool mod. So don't you worry about that. Right, can I get you up here? Oh, I can. A little photo maybe of his family... Um, I think Red's still big on his family. He loves his family a lot. Um, so I'm going to do that. Why do I want to put you? You're... Why did I get you out, actually? Oh, it's because I was going to put a different shelf up there. But this kind of matches in with his creative kind of vibe. So I think I'm going to leave that. Shoes. Um, pretty self-explanatory. They're shoes. So I think I want to do you around there. Now, we need to remember Red's quite musical as well. So I think I want to give him a guitar in his room. That came about with getting this poster up in this corner as well. Obviously needs to rep his university, which I didn't make Akira do, actually. So I think I'm going to give him a little university flag as well. Maybe just above his door there. Yeah. Yeah, stunning. Um, and then another one of these skateboard moments as well, which we all know Red's very good at making. So I think I want to put you somewhere too. In fact, what I'm going to do is put you just below this little uni graduation picture. Just here. And I think in the corner here, I'm going to give Red a nice rocking chair. Oh, I wanted this as well. Oh, will you go up there? Oh, you do. Smash it. Bloody hell, you feeling all right, Sims? Oh, so many snap points today. I don't know what to do myself. Um, <laughs> uh, I think what I want to put along here, maybe hang in a little coat, coaty peg up here as well for red. That could be quite cute. Um, I'm going to move these posters down and maybe not put them in a straight line, actually. Maybe just meander them across a little bit better. I think I want to give red a rocking chair from that pack that um, I think I want to give him a little, again, what he's made. So I'm not going to put a cushion on, on it or anything. In fact, let's give him one with arms in the corner here with another guitar. Now, I did put a guitar out on here. So maybe I could give him one of these. But maybe the one that's signed or it's got like little stickers on it where he sits and writes his songs and stuff. I think that would be quite cute for Red. Yes. Yes, indeed. Now, this is his own. Again, he's made this. It's one of his first things he made, a little dresser. Um, I think I want to do a lamp here. I'm going to do a lamp here and put a rug in this room. And I think that's enough kind of storyline in there for Red. It kind of like comes through nicely. And maybe just a few little stains on the walls or marks. We'll do that. Yes, we will. Okay, itchy face once again because I am recording. You know how it goes with me. Lighting. Uh, a lamp. <laughs> A nice little lamp. Again, I would like it to look kind of semi-carved, maybe. Maybe you... No, you're a bit much. You're a bit much, darling. What lamp can we use? There we go. We'll go for that one, which was from Snowy Escape. No, it was from Paranormal. It was from the Paranormal pack. No, it is eating in there, so I might... Once I put this down with the tool mod, I'll lift that up slightly there as well. Um, Yes, I will. That is happening. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That is looking nice. Now he needs a rug. I'm going to go for another weathered rug. Did I use that weathered rug in there? I didn't, so I can use it in here. Yes! <laughs> Getting excited about using a weathered rug. I mean, lockdown's been hard, you know. You've got to find the excitement in the smallest things, really, haven't you? So I am going to go and use... Go. I'm going to go and use this one in here. Just put a little bit of a jaunty angle in Red's room. Oh, I'm for it. Yes, this looks like somewhere where Red would be. I do like that. Now I want a few stains and a few marks on the walls as well. So scratches on the wall. Do I want uh, them? I can never, I can't really see them. So not you, but maybe like a couple of these. One of these as well behind the shoe area there. Um, and maybe one of those like little missing sort of wall marks just on the wall there. Or maybe something over here as well. This is like literally just me place, placing cracks all around the house and I'm for it. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to move you up just so I've got a bit of detail up there as well. Oh, oh, I'm for that. Yes. 
Yeah, that 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 screams red to me. That does. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to move on to the final room, which is Jean Paul. Into Jean Paul's room. So I do want to make it look like he's kind of well traveled. So I will have a lot of influence, I think, from other cultures. Uh, that is going to be apparent in this um, bedroom. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to give him two side tables as well. Maybe I could use the island living ones in here. I could like, it doesn't have to be, oh, that's a bit of wood. There we go. I'm going to put them at a bit of an angle as well, actually, I think in here. Just a little smidgen, just a smidgen, just to tell a story. A story. Just to tell a story, darling. Yes, I think I'll put those there like that. That bed's very, very bright, but I think it's going to be the only vibe to go for. I mean, I could go for white, but I do want it to be... Oh, maybe black. Mm, no, we'll stick with that. We'll stick with that. We're going to go for bright colours in here anyway. Well, some bright colours. So we need to give him a wardrobe. Once I've found him a wardrobe, I will flop off and pull out some stuff that I think Jean Paul would um, be really happy with. <laughs> oh... It doesn't take a lot to make me laugh. It really doesn't. <laughs> and that is one of them. That sound effect still still makes me laugh to this day. Yes, it does. Yes, it does indeed. Um, I think this is the right dresser to use. It's just the wood tones. Oh, that's not too bad. That matches him with the bed. Yeah, we'll go for this one. We'll go for this one. Pop you there, darling. Pop you there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, I want lots of plants in this room. So maybe lots of um, kind of ceiling hung plants. And I think it would suit his vibe. So let me go and pull out loads of shit and we'll start placing it around the room. Okay, so I've started placing things around. I'll go through that a little bit more in a minute. I'm going to put this here, just a nice little cabinet. Maybe he stores his like socks and stuff and whatever in those drawers. We'll detail that up a bit more in a minute. I was thinking maybe Jean-Paul spent a bit of time in Sulani. Or not a bit of time, maybe he was there for a couple of years. Um, got his scuba diving um, license started that was what that was his job over there he started taking people out on boats and teaching them how to scuba dive so we're going to make that come through with this as well um this is a street sign from sulani that he did actually steal as well <laughs> they're like international sign stealers it's a crime aiden it's a crime you know got to remember that it's a crime okay okay now i've also changed out the um side table that i use use this one here maybe it's got lots of stuff in there little like artifacts and things little plant this little fish thing on the wall here and then i thought because he's well traveled maybe he's got a lot of suitcases so i have used this suitcase here which i don't I forget what pack this came from what, what where did you come from city living um just so yeah he's ready to up and leave a little tapestry here which i'm very much for we'll find a nice rug but we're going to go along together and we're going to put in lots of greenery in this house now. Or in this room, sorry. Which is, yeah, I think that would be very nice. Very nice for Jean-Paul. Now, I do want a few of these in here. I want to hang them maybe above the bed here. One here. Let me see that. Oh, I'm for it. Let me pull you out a little bit more. Yes, we'll pop you there, darling. What about this one as well? Oh, this one's always... I wish this one was longer. It annoys me at how short this, like... <laughs> or at least it came with another bloody size, you know? Very annoying, that is. Um, yeah, we'll use you and white there. Have a little plant moment here. I think I'm going to crowd some plants around this little area here as well. So we'll use the plant of dreams, because I do use this plant an awful lot. Maybe it is a special kind of plant that they do like to partake in. Um... Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, you know. And down here, I'm going to put some more little planters as well. I use this one to death as well because it's elite and I love it. I think it would suit this room very nicely. Um, what else can we do down here? Maybe something a bit more exotic looking. Maybe... Oh, I wish I could use you in here, but you're massive in the shadow on you. Shit. It really is. So I won't use that one. Um, one of these... From um, university, I think we use one that actually looks alive. There we go. Bonk you down there as well. One of these, whatever this is, a cabbage. <laughs> it's not. It's a cookadama. No idea what that is, but it sounds lovely. So we'll use that down here. You're a bit floral. I would like it just be more green, if you would. 
Oh, you would suit in here. The only problem with this, I hate the colour of the plants with this um, object. And I don't like the swatches very much either. But we're going to use it anyway, just because it will fit in with the vibe here. I'm going to flop you as close as I can to the curtain. There we go. Oh, yes, I'm for it. Yeah, it's just a nice cluster of plants around there. And here, what can I put in there? In fact, I'm going to use those baskets in here as well. I'm going to use them, but in a different colour, maybe. Yeah, blue's fine. Oh, it doesn't go up there, does it? Oh, for goodness. I will pop you up there, though, my love. Is that floating? I don't think it is. So I'm going to use it in there. And then in here, oh, I don't think these have got snap points. They might do. You know, the Sims has been, this, it's been surprising me today with snap points been like Christmas so I'm gonna get rid of debug no <laughs> no it has not let me just put you there so you're not gonna come over here and where's the other oh yeah I forget you're up there that was the logic that was the logic of this um this object right and fucking slap your tits fantastic let's pop you up here I know about the red shelf before I have multiple people Ask me about the red shelf. I just don't like using the red shelf. I really don't. I'd rather just bitch and moan and use the um, nine key, to be honest. Um, yes. Oh, oh, so you've miraculously discovered that you... Oh, it's probably because it needs a smaller snap point there. Well, anyway, I'm putting something there. What can I put up here? Something else needs to go there as well, but I don't know what. Um, let me have a little look in objects. Maybe just some, like like men's like cologne bits i reckon he takes pride in his appearance and stuff you know oh, here we go he takes pride in his appearance and stuff so you know maybe he maybe a bit of that bit of that are you floating oh thank god thank the lord oh oh you would be great up there yes you would i'm gonna flop you up there please have a decent enough yes you do right i'm gonna put you there and get rid of you Oh, yes. Yes, that suits the vibe. And we'll get rid of these as well. Oh, for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's Jean-Paul's room. I'm all for that. I'm absolutely all for it. Okay, and he spends the majority of his life outside anyway. So he's not in here too much. So I won't put like stereos and stuff in. Same with Red. They don't really spend much time in their bedroom. But I would like a very nice rug in here. And I feel it. This might be be the one. Oh, that one looks good, actually. Let me just go through the cycle of swatches. Not you, darling. Not you. Oh, that's nice as well. Oh, I prefer that one, actually. Yes, let's use this one and I'll put it at a slight angle. Nothing too hefty. Just so it looks a bit more organic. Oh! Oh, I'm for it, loves. Yes, we're done. This build is complete. All the boys have their bedrooms. I'm absolutely for it. I was going to change his bed around when I, but Oh, well, never mind. Right, we're going to have a little tour, my love. So I think we'll start with the exterior as we normally do. Let me just move myself down because I hate seeing myself float when I'm doing a tour. We're going down there now. Right, there we go. Oh, that's better, even though I'm not in frame. Virgo, what can I say? You know, Virgo. So, out the little front deck here where they can just come and sit, listen to a bit of music. They've got their bikes outside here. This is their backyard entertaining space. Um, the juice keg that I've had lots of people ask about. Don't worry, it's right there, darlings. Um, so yes, we've got. We'll go up there in a minute. So we've got their little bar area here, lovely jubbly. They've got their pool area here, stunning, facing onto the bar that way as well, which is glorious. We've got Jean Paul's little gardening area here, where he does all of his veg growing and whatnot, and herbs and spices, darling. We've got Red's little um, workbench area here where, where he plays with his wood. <gasps> filth. But that was only a little bit of filth, wasn't it, really? Anyway, moving on, we've got the little under decking here. The little veranda area. Area. <laughs> with their, where they just sit and get pissed and have a laugh with their mates and fold that as well. With their little outdoor heater as well to keep them warm when the nights get a bit colder. We'll go in this way, but we'll start down this way. So they've got their living area here. Gorgeous, stunning. Absolutely here for it. Would not like to live here myself, though, because it would make me fuming. Um, kitchen, shared kitchen. Very generic, very plain, um, very dirty. Uh, moving over this way, first off, we have got Akito's bedroom. So we've got his very 
tidy, put together, nice, clean, gorgeous bedroom that I'm absolutely for. Lovely. With all of his Japanese references into Red's bedroom. Gorgeous. Just lots of homemade bits of furniture. All of Red's personality bundled into one room. We mustn't forget Red's dad. What would Red's dad be called? Graham. Yeah, Graham. Graham. Rest in peace, Graham. But yes, lovely. Lovely bedroom. Stunning. Moving on. On to Jean Paul's, which we've just finished. So this is a bit more well-traveled. And I should have put postcards or something around here. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. I think it kind of screams like he's well-traveled anyway, really. Um, yeah, cute. And then over, obviously, into their disgusting bathroom, which is stained and hideous and smelly. Probably smells a bit damp in here, too. Um... But yes, this build is done, my loves. I will get this build up on the gallery along with Eliza's and Bob's. I haven't put that up on the gallery yet. Sorry about that. I will get them both up in a jiffy. So be on the looks out for them. So there we have it, my darlings. The end of the roomies house. We have finished. We are complete. It is done. So I will get this. As I said, I will get this up on the gallery as soon as I can. Um, it will be this week sometime along with Eliza's and Bob's house as well um but yeah i'll be back tomorrow with a funny video i'm gonna do a little bit of comedy gonna do a little bit of comedy tomorrow see what we can muster so expect that video a bit later than normal normally my videos always come out between 6 and 8 p.m um that one there will probably be kind of hitting the mark towards eight maybe a little bit later so just be on the lookout for that and then on friday obviously we have a speed build coming as well if you do want to join me tonight i'm live on twitch 7 p.m gmt we are building a british cottage with lots of custom content or finishing off that that cottage so feel free to join me but until then my darlings i shall see you tomorrow goodbye